lot of talk about AI. And mm -hmm. every day it feels like there are new either, you know, entrants coming into the market that are launching AI solutions, or you see that, you know, some of the, you know, longer standing uh, companies are launching AI products. Why should these executives and people within these companies track their rivals and try to decode strategies that are happening? I guess the simplest way I would frame it is if you could go back to last November, November, 2022, before chat GPT three really, you know, exploded on the scene. And if you could go back then knowing what you know now in November of 2023, about what your competitors have done with AI, how they've made investments in AI, what companies they've acquired to try to build up their AI capabilities. If you went back in time a year ago and knew everything you knew today, would you make the same decisions that you made? And most people would say, well, yeah, mostly, but well, nah, it'd have been nice to know if I'd known that, or I might've done this a little bit differently, or maybe I would have bought that company first, or I would have realized that that's not the best move. Competitive intelligence and insight isn't about perfectly predicting what's going to happen, but at least paying attention to it, thinking about what might happen, thinking about what those competitors, are they going to acquire someone? Are, what kind of AI are they going to develop in the next year? Where are they going to focus in terms of their AI development tech technologies? Are they going to build AI for internal use within a law firm? Or are they going to build an AI for use within their own platform, which will then be accessible by any law firm? Two totally different decisions. And you may say, well, I don't care. Well, but what if the law firm says, yeah, we don't want to own our own AI because we don't want to just you know, train on our own stuff. We want to train on all the stuff you have so we can access off your platform. It's wow. about understanding the customer, but it's also understanding what others are doing. Because if you think if the customer comes to you and says, hey, we want to have our own LLM AI, generative AI intern of the law firm, you say, great, we can do that. And then they go and talk to your competitor and the competitor says, actually, that's not a good idea. And here's why the law firm is going to say, oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. So they're never going to come back to you because they moved on to a better idea. And if you're not even paying attention to that stuff, you know, you can put your head down and just plow forward, but I, I sort of think it's more helpful to at least think about what other people doing, what other people telling customers and where are they investing in their research and developing new things and who are they partnering with who's developed a, uh, you know, AI technologies, et cetera. That's really what it's about. It's not perfectly predicting, but if I, again, there, you know, I, if you really say, yeah, I would never make any decision differently if I could go back in time and make it before, then you are like the one person in the history of business who's never made a mistake. And most executives at some point make a mistake. So that's not to say you should never make a mistake, but the idea is it, why not try to look forward a little bit? And looking forward isn't just about you, it's about everyone else in the environment that you interact with.